Hi, this is Wendy Lightheart, and in this lesson we're going to be taking a look at the point-slope form of the equation of a line. The point-slope equation of a non-vertical line with slope m that passes through the point x1, y1 is given by this formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So again, m is the slope, x1 is the x-coordinate of a point on the line, and y1 is the y-coordinate of the same point on the line. So let's look at an example of how we can use this formula. So here we want to write the point-slope form and then the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line that has a slope of negative 5 and passes through the point 3, negative 2. So here's the point-slope formula again. So we simply need to replace the m, the x1, and the y1 with their respective values. So we substitute the given values, which would be replacing the y1 with negative 2, because that's the y-coordinate of our point. We replace the m with negative 5, that's our slope, and we replace the x1 with 3. That's the x-coordinate of our point that's given to be on the line. So now, this is almost our point-slope form. We do want to simplify this a little bit. Um, we want to keep our slope separated, so we will not distribute the negative 5 when we simplify for point-slope form. But what we do want to simplify is whenever we have a minus a negative scenario. So you can see this y minus negative 2 on the left side. We want to simplify that up a bit to give our final point-slope form. So y minus negative 2 is y plus 2, so that simplifies the left side. And the right side is simplified as much as we want to keep it in point-slope form. So this is the equation of the line in point-slope form. Now we need to find the slope-intercept form, which remember is the form y equals mx plus b. So we could start with the point-slope form that we have so far, and then isolate the y, and that would put it into slope-intercept form. So to isolate the y in this equation, we're going to have to start by distributing the negative 5. So negative 5 times x is negative 5x, and negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Next, we will need to subtract 2 from both sides to finish isolating the y. And when you subtract 2 from both sides, you'll end up with y equals negative 5x plus 13. And this is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Okay, let's look at another example. We want to write the point-slope form and then the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line that passes through the points negative 4, 2, and 6, negative 3. So this is a little bit different than from the last example, because remember the last example, they gave us the slope and they gave us a point on the line. This time, they just give us two points on the line. So in order to find the point-slope form, we need to know the slope and a point. Well, we have two points to choose from, but we don't have the slope. So when you're given two points, the first thing to do is to find the slope. So remember the formula for finding the slope when you're given the coordinates of two points on the line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to use the first point, negative 4, 2, as our x1, y1, and the second point as our um, x2, y2. So when you plug those values in, you get negative 3 minus 2 on the top and 6 minus negative 4 on the bottom. So if we simplify that up, we get negative 5 on the top and positive 10 on the bottom. And then, of course, we want to reduce that fraction so we get a slope of negative one-half. So now we have our m, and we have two points to choose from 
to use as our x1, y1. So now we'll use the point slope formula and we'll substitute the slope in and one point. And note that either of these points will work to give us a point slope form. Um, we're going to choose the first point, negative 4, 2, but again it doesn't matter which one you choose. Okay, so we plug those values in, so the y1 is 2, the slope we just found to be negative 1 half, and the x-coordinate of that first point is negative 4. So we'll simplify this up a little bit. We'll get rid of the parentheses around the 2 that I just simply used to show my substitution. And then we have this minus negative 4 inside the parentheses on the right side, so we'll simplify that up as well. So when we do that, we end up with y minus 2 equals negative 1 half times x plus 4. So this is the equation of the line in point slope form. Now we need to find the slope intercept form. So we'll again start with the point slope form and simply solve this for y. So to solve this for y, we'll need to distribute the negative 1 half. So when you do that, negative 1 half times x is negative 1 half x. And then negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Now to isolate the y, we need to add 2 to both sides. So when you add 2 to the right side, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so that constant goes away, and we end up with y equals negative one-half x. And this is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Okay, let's look at another different scenario. In this example, we want to write the sl point-slope form and then the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line that passes through the point 7, 4, and is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 7y equals 11. So here we're given a point, so we can use that as our x1, y1 in the point slope formula, but we're not given the slope, at least not directly. We are told enough information, however, to find the slope. We're told that the equation, or the line that we want to find the equation of, is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 7y equals 11. So all we need to do is find the slope of the line 3x plus 7y equals 11 because we know that perpendicular lines have slopes that are um, opposite reciprocals of each other. So we first find the slope of the line, of this other line, by first subtracting 3x from both sides and then we'll want to divide everything by 7. And now we can identify the slope of this given line 3x plus 7y equals 11 because remember it's the coefficient on the x so that would be negative 3 7 So the slope of this line is negative 3 7 Note we found the slope of the line 3x plus 7y equals 11 to be negative 3 7 but this is not the slope of the line we've been asked to find. However, it does help us find the slope of the line we've been asked to find because we know the two lines must be perpendicular. Do you remember the relationship between the slopes of perpendicular lines? Yes, the product of their slopes will be equal to negative 1 which means they're opposite reciprocals of each other. So they must have opposite signs and they also must be reciprocals of each other. So this, therefore the slope of the line we've been asked to find is 7 thirds positive because the slope of the other line is negative and then when we find the reciprocal of 3 sevenths we get 7 thirds. So now we're trying to find the point slope form and slope intercept form of the equation of the line passing through the point 7, 4. And now we know that it also has a slope of 7 thirds. 
So here's our point slope formula again. So we substitute the given values. So we put 4 in place of the y1. We put 7 thirds in for the slope and we put 7 in for the x1. And there's not really any simplifying here to do because we don't have any minus and negative scenarios to clean up. So this is the equation of the line in point slope form. Now we need to find the slope intercept form. So we start with the point slope form and then we solve for y. So we're going to distribute the 7 thirds. So 7 thirds times x is 7 thirds x. And 7 thirds times negative 7 is negative 49 thirds. Now we're going to need to add 4 to both sides to finish isolating the y. And note that we'll need common denominators in order to add 4 to the negative 49 thirds on the right. So let's just rewrite 4 into thirds so that we'll have common denominators. So remember you can rewrite 4 as having a denominator of 3 by multiplying both the top and the bottom by 3. So that will give you 12 over 3. So 4 is the same as 12 thirds. So when we're adding 12 thirds, we're really just adding 4. But we need to add 12 thirds to both sides. And now let's see that we can add these fractions now that they have the same denominator. So negative 49 thirds plus 12 thirds, we find that sum by adding negative 49 to 12. So that would be negative 37 as our numerator, and then our denominator, of course, is still a 3. So now we have y equals 7 thirds x minus 37 thirds, and this is our line in slope intercept form. And we're done. And when you have these kind of scenarios, you might want to graph both of the lines, since you do um, have equations of those lines, and just verify that yes they are perpendicular and um, the point that you the line that you just found does pass through the point 7 4 and then you know you've got the right answer so have fun with these see you later bye bye